So for this question, right, we are going to do by two approach. So by now, all of you have uh, gotten the idea of complete square, and you also gotten the idea that the I the why are you doing a complete square? So when you do a complete square, it allows you to get the minimum and the maximum value. And we also have the idea of discriminant because this is a quadratic function. So I'm going to do it by the complete square method first. So in the example one, you already practiced the technique for complete square. So we're going to try the technique for the complete square. So I'm assuming you don't have careless mistake for this. So I'm going to do the complete square method. Let me write properly. Yeah, I got a bunch calculator. So if you do the complete square that you already practice in your example one, this is what you will have gotten, All right? So you have done the complete square and you should realize that it, it, it will tell you the minimum value. So it will tell you the minimum value of the function. So the minimum value of the function is, seven over eight, which is positive. So complete square is meant to tell you the minimum or the maximum. So in our case, it's the minimum value. So our, my conclusion should be, this is seven over eight or more. So that means the whole function will always be greater or equal to seven over eight. So therefore, the whole function will be positive. So I make use of the complete square. I make use of the limited theory that comes with the complete square. I can also make use of the discriminant. Okay, so I'm going to go by the discriminant method. So I'm going to explore the value of the discriminant. So this looks easier. So you actually get a negative discriminant. So since the discriminant is negative, so you got to do more for the explanation. So if you get a negative discriminant, what does that mean? It means, right, the graph of this has no intersection. It doesn't have any intersections with the x-axis. So when your discriminant is negative, essentially it just means that the whole graph doesn't intersect. So when will the whole graph doesn't intersect? That means right, the graph is entirely above the x-axis. So if it doesn't cut the x in the set, x axis, that means it's just entirely above. Therefore, this is always positive. So they just keep switching the idea, but it all boils down to the same thing. <laughs> 